Hello everyone, Assalamualaikum. This is part five and this is where we left off last time. Now let's go ahead and get started. So first at the top we'll declare a variable and we'll have it as late because we want to initialize it later and inside this we are going to use map and map would be string and dynamic. Now we are using map because we know that Firebase Firestore returns data as a map format. So that's why we have to have a map over here, a list of maps. So we'll get the data from Firebase and put in this list over here and inside the list the data would be as map. Great. And we want to declare another variable which is called is loaded and this would be using during loading and show data on the screen to update it. Great. Now after this, this is the button that now after this, this is the function that gets called from this button click. We know that because this is increment counter. Anyway, so now inside this, I'm going to use a new temporary list. Now to be able to do that, I'm going to copy this over here. So I'll, I'm going to put it here and we'll call it temp list. Now this list would be empty. So that's why we have this braces over here. And after that, now we want to create another variable inside this and we'll call it data. It doesn't really matter. You can call it anything. Now inside this, we'll have await and collection.get. Now this is the collection. Collection refers to a div instance and the actual kind of collection name from our Firebase, right? So once I write this one, it means that get all the data from this people's collection. Now if you don't know what is this people collection, we'll go ahead and take a look. So this is our people collection and uh, here we have a lot of documents and each document refers to a certain person and we have added their age, country, job and name like that, okay? We are going to get all this data from Firebase and show them in, now this would get all the documents in a query from our Firebase. Now of course this data also contains other properties but we just need the documents from this. That's why here we do data.docs. So with this, we are getting all the documents from Firebase. So these are the documents. It's a list, actually, it's going to return us a list over here. So since it's a list, we are going to go through it using a for loop. So here we do for each, and inside this, we'll have this uh, variable, which is called element. You can call it anything, it doesn't really matter. Now it will get all the documents uh, from this uh, collection and then we'll look through it one by one and as we look through it We are going to add this in this temp list So we are going to get this temp list and then here we do add and after that we'll get the element now from the element We want to get the data. So here we do data now actually this data refers to the fields each of the fields in our documents so these are the fields. As you can see, we have few fields, add time, age, country, job, and the name. Right. So once this is there, we are actually ready. Now here we'll have set state function. So let's go ahead and do that. Now inside set state, we are going to update our list. So this is our list. So over here, we are going to update this list with the temporary list. So which would be temp list. Now, in fact, we are ready. So all we need to do now over here, we're going to go ahead and do the UI. Inside this, instead of this text, we are going to have a list view builder. So here we do list view dot builder. And over, he over here, we are going to pass context and index. Now we don't have much in, now we don't have anything about index yet, but here we are going to go ahead and get the count item count first. So here we do item count. And now we know that our data is saved in items list. So here we're gonna get the length. Okay, so with this, we'll look through it and use index. Now this is the UI part. So here inside this, I'm gonna go ahead and be very quick. Now this is the basic UI. If you go ahead and run it, it says that late initialization error and it's very normal because over here you see that even though we initialize it, but this section comes right after the bottom click, but inside this build method that you have that UI has already been drawn. So that's why over here we can use our conditional variable, the one that we have declared early. So over here we're going to check is loaded. So if it's loaded true, 
then actually we are going to show the data otherwise here we would say text no data all right so now this is where we want to change this variable because initially it's is loaded equal false so here we do is loaded equal true now let's go ahead and run it one more time and we'll see that it should be working right now now we're going to go ahead and click on this and we'll see that over here we have this list view and it's beautiful it's already working but now it's all static static in a sense that because over here inside this we have this hard-coded data now this is the time that we replace this data now inside this instead of hard-coded data like this we're going to grab our items the items that we have over here at the top so here we do items and then we'll grab the index and inside this over here we'll have the name section now at the same time we'll make sure if the name is empty then we'll say not given all right so with this we make sure that if it is not empty then we use whatever name there otherwise we say not given now over here for age it's the same thing here we do items and then we do index and then here we'd say age now the age could be integer and for this reason we convert it to string now after this for job we do the same thing so first we'll go ahead and copy paste the one we had over here and instead of this name over here we could do job and here we just simply write unemployed unemployed all right so with this actually we are pretty much ready so now let's go ahead and restart our app looks like we have a typo over here so let's go ahead and restart our app now i'm going to click on this and here we see that this is the dynamic data that came from our firebase so here is the name age so the name is same because i was doing the test but as you see the age is different and the job type is also different okay all right so that's how you go ahead and load data from firebase firestore thank you